In this episode of the Butt Chronicles, we take a look at Beavis and Butthead, episode 25, Babes Are Us. Uh, welcome to Industrial Industries World Radios, the Butt Chronicles. Uh, you said welcome. Uh, oh god. Hey, what's up ladies, gentlemen, and butt munches alike? Welcome to the Butt Chronicles, your audio guide to everything Beavis and Butthead. And I'm your host, DJ Glowing Ice. Well, today we're taking a look at Beavis and Butthead episode 25, Babes Are Russ. And it first aired on MTV on June 23rd, 1993. That's all we need to know for now. So, what happens with Beavis and Butthead and Babes Are Us? Well, let's check it out. The episode starts in Beavis and Butthead's house as the American Gladiators plays on their TV. On the show, two women are on top of a pillar, hitting each other with padded sticks, trying to knock the other one off. The boys have their eyes bugged out as they stare at the close-up shot of one of the women's butts. Butthead points to the TV and says, Butt cheeks. One woman knocks the other off the pillar, and then the show ends. It then cuts to a big fat bald guy with a beard as he stands between two women in bikinis. The man is wearing a white tank top that reads, Babes Are Us. In this commercial, he says, You've heard of us. Now it's time you felt the wrath, gentlemen. Get your slimy bones down here at Babes R Us for the most mighty and intoxicating female mud and oil wrestling in all the galaxy. Referring to the women beside him, he goes on, Chucky and Cheese here can't wait to see ya, but the one question remains to be answered. Are you man enough to take on the most beautiful women in the world? Well, are you dudes? Whoa, we got work to do if we're going to climb all over that, dude, says Butthead, as he then has a thought bubble with a light bulb inside of it. Next, we're outside in the front yard of Beavis and Butthead's house. Their entire yard has not a single blade of grass. It's all completely dirt. A sawed up and mangled looking tree is behind them, along their fence that is also falling apart. Beavis is wearing a pink bikini top, and Butthead's wearing a yellow bikini top with AC on one breast and DC on the other breast. They're both holding baseball bats, which have boxing gloves attached to the ends of them. Butthead's spraying into the yard with a water hose, making a huge mud pit in the yard. Gotta get these chops up if we're gonna drill those units down at Babes R Us, Butthead says, as he walks into the mud hole where Beavis is waiting. Yeah, says Beavis. Butthead then swings his bat, hitting Beavis in the stomach, then the head, back and forth repeatedly. Beavis gets angry and grabs Butthead and lifts him above his head. He throws Butthead face first into the mud pit. Butthead lifts his face out of the mud, and as his hand is moving in his pants, he says, Hey, spank your own monkey all you want, but keep your hands off of mine. You're dead, says Beavis. No way says Butthead. Butthead hits Beavis in the stomach, and then the head, which sends Beavis face first into the mud. Butthead sits on Beavis's back as he holds onto his head and repeatedly smashes his face up and down into the mud. Beavis is screaming, which at this point, Daria is walking on the sidewalk by the boys' house. The boys have now stopped, and are staring at Daria with mud on their faces. Beavis and Butthead both say, Diarrhea, cha-cha-cha, diarrhea, cha-cha-cha, diarrhea, cha-cha-cha. Get a life. What exactly do you call this? Daria asks. We're going to be cool, like the American gladiators, says Butthead, as the boys laugh, and then Beavis says, Yeah. Daria asks, What's with the bikini tops? We're going to get a real woman, down at Babes R Us, says Butthead. The boys both laugh and Daria says, Oh, they're gonna love you guys. Daria then walks off. Butthead says, That was cool. He turns to Beavis and says, Now for the last and most intense move. 
He runs behind Beavis and grabs his arms and pulls them behind his back. Beavis struggles and screams as Butthead then pops off Beavis's bikini top. Butthead laughs and says, Cool. Hope you got that one down. The boys then air guitar. It's nighttime now, and the boys are outside the building of Babes R Us. Two spotlights are shining into the sky as signs on the pink Babes R Us building advertises girls and mud wrestling. Butthead, looking amazed, says to Beavis, Dude, it is the most radical empire to all that which is radical. Yeah, says Beavis. The boys run up to the building and look through the windows to see inside. Inside we see Billy Bob, the overweight redneck, wearing nothing but a pair of red underwear and his brown cowboy hat. He's standing in a pool of mud, as women on each side of him are pulling on his arms, playing tug-of-war. A crowd of people sit in stadium seats behind him, cheering on. Upon seeing this, the boys look at each other in excitement and headbang. With their baseball bats in hand, the boys walk up to the ticket booth at the entrance. The man inside the ticket booth is dressed in a black suit jacket. His name is Kelly. Kelly is a slim built man with black short hair with a receding hairline and a noticeably pale complexion. Kelly says to the boys, Good evening, I'm Kelly. How can I help you tonight? Uh, two please, says Butthead. How old are you fellas? asks Kelly. Fifteen. Uh, I, I mean twenty-seven, Butthead replies. Yeah, Beavis says with a fake deep voice. Not tonight, boys. Call me when you get some pubes, okay? The boys now raising their bats, and Butthead raising his fist at Kelly. Don't make me smack you, Butthead threatens. Yeah, <laughs> adds Beavis. Oh, Thor! Kelly calls towards the entrance door. We see the double doors of the entrance open to a man named Thor. Thor is dressed in a gray suit and blue tie. He stomps his way to a scared and stunned Beavis and Butthead as he grabs them. A side shot is shown as Thor grabs both the boys by their ankles and is lifting them above his head and slamming them face first into the pavement repeatedly. It looks as if someone were to smack dirt out of a rug. Blood flies from the boys, and Thor leaves them on the sidewalk in front of Babes R Us. Laying face down on the sidewalk, the boys lift up their heads. Butthead says, That was not cool. No, adds Beavis. Next we see the boys still outside of Babes R Us, as Butthead is hitting a bus stop sign with his bat. Beavis is in the distance, still looking through the window of Babes R Us. Next to the bus stop is a bench where a woman is sitting. As Butthead hits the sign, he says, Come on, Thor! Don't make me shove this thing up your butt! Butthead then notices the woman and turns to her and says, uh -huh. Hey, baby. Wanna wrestle? In which he then puts his hand on the woman's shoulder. Visibly upset, the woman grabs a whistle and blows it loudly. A scene of Thor coming from the entrance doors and slamming the boys on the concrete happens again. And that's the end of Beavis and Butthead, Babes Are Us. Now let's check out the music videos. First music video is Push It by Salt and Peppa. Butthead says, I like chicks with leather jackets. Push what? Asks Beavis. Push that little button on the remote. Butthead says. Then they change it. Next is Humpin' Around by Bobby Brown. Referring to the woman, grabbing a phone from a man in the video, Butthead says, Get off the phone, dude. She wants it. Beavis says, He's gonna have some phone sex. Referring to Bobby Brown wearing a headset, Butthead says, Check it out, Beavis. He's got a drive through headset. Yeah, he must work at Burger World. Butthead picks up the phone from the couch and says, I would like a quarter pounder and two dozen chicks in tight shorts. Beavis says, Thank you, drive through. As the line in the song, Humping Around is being sung, Butthead asks, Is he talking about humping a hound? Beavis says, 
Yeah, that would be cool. Butthead asks, It would? The boys laugh, and then they dance to the song. Next is Bruise Violet by Babes in Toyland. The boys like the video, they headbang to it, and Butthead says, These chicks rock. In the video, the singer sings Liar, and Beavis repeats it, but says Fire instead. Next is Pop Song 89 by R.E.M., and referring to the lead singer, Butthead says, That chick has small boobs. After seeing the lyrics and text displayed on the screen, Beavis says, How many times do I have to say this? I hate videos with words. Butthead says, Yeah, if I wanted to read, I'd go to school. In the last video, which is a video that replaced the Babes in Toyland video after the fire controversy, is Dust Devil by the Butthole Surfers. The boys scream along with the singer, and they headbang to it. And Butthead says, Ladies and gentlemen, the Butthole Surfers. Beavis says, Hey Butthead, do you think these guys get any chicks? It's like, the name of their band is the Butthole Surfers, and like, chicks probably don't like that. Yeah, but they probably like, tell chicks they're in Motley Crue, answers Butthead. Beavis says, Yeah, yeah, I bet Vince Neil tells chicks that too. That's the end of the music videos. Now let's get into the fun facts. The scene when Beavis and Butthead are mud wrestling in their front yard, and Daria walks by, the lines of them saying, Diarrhea cha-cha-cha, were cut in later airings of the episode. As I said before, the Babes in Toyland music video was cut and replaced with the Butthole Surfers music video because there were references of fire. The comedian David Spade has a guest voice in this episode, as he played Kelly, the guy in the ticket booth. This episode marks the final appearance of the character Thor, in which his first appearance in the series was in the episode At the Sideshow, in which he played as the Gorilla Man. Babes R Us is the 20th episode of Season 2 of Beavis and Butthead, and it's the 25th episode overall. And IMDB, the Internet Movie Database, gives Beavis and Butthead, Babes R Us, a 7.4 out of 10 rating. Now, I'll give you my review. This episode has stuck in my head since a kid. Like, I vividly remember most of everything that happens in this episode. Now, a few things here and there uh, have come and gone, but re-watching this episode, I'm like, yep, okay. I knew it almost beat by beat. Even the music videos, the lines in these music videos were great. Uh, and I remember even them, like especially the Bobby Brown humping around music video. That's a that's a classic choice A Beavis and Butthead music video segment right there. That's that's top choice. Funny thing about this episode is in 5th grade we were paired up, right, with uh, another person in the class and I was paired up with uh, my good friend Eric and I would always be the kind of guy that would uh, take lead in whatever group project, uh, mostly because no one else really came up with anything. So in this fifth grade project, we had to come up with a business idea and a slogan and write out the uh, products that we would we'd be selling. So I had this idea that we'd sell guns. Now, this was 1998. We're fifth graders, and this is our business. We're wanting to sell guns. So I'm dra- drawing rocket launchers and all different various kinds of guns and, uh, you know, whatever. Just very explosive things, grenades, all that stuff. And the teacher let it fly. It was, <laughs> she, was a, she was a real fire and brimstone kind of woman. Very on the edge. Uh, very crazy almost, I like to think. And so we had to come up with a slogan. And in my memory, I had thought, I had created that I remember hearing in this episode, Beavis and Butthead, Babes Are Us, that the guy in the commercial says, We got the babes, you got the cash. So come on down to Babes Are Us. And so I was thinking, okay, how about the slogan, We've got the guns, you've got the cash, so come on down to Guns R Us. In my head, I always thought I remembered 
that guy in this episode saying, you know, we got the page, you got the cash. But lo and behold, I watched this episode 20, 25 some odd years later, and he never said it. It was all something I just thought in my head that he said. So it's kind of crazy. It's like, oh man, okay. It's just a weird, wild little story I just wanted to share. And every single time now that I always thought of that episode, I always thought that line was in there, but huh, it wasn't. I also remember at one point I was with my dad and maybe the rest of my family and we were walking into either a Walmart or a post office or something. And as we were heading in, there was a van in the parking lot, and I guess it was just the kids in the van, and I don't know where the parents were, but it sounded like just a bunch of kids in this van, kind of off in the distance, and all we heard them say over and over was, diarrhea, cha-cha-cha, diarrhea, (laughs) cha-cha-cha. And it was just so cool. (laughs) My dad was like, yeah, I wonder what they've been watching. (laughs) My dad knew exactly what they were watching. And, uh, yeah, man. That's just a weird little nugget of uh, memory I would have never thought of unless I watched this episode. I'm I'm talking about it now that uh, I brought up from my memories of my childhood. The 90s were awesome, bro. They were awesome, dude. Anyways, it wasn't that great. It's definitely rewatchable. has a lot of great qualities to it. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So there you go. Beavis and Butthead, Babes Are Us, 7 out of 10. (laughs) 